Yo, what's up guys? In this video, I wanna help you guys set up your Facebook business manager because it seems like a lot of people don't really know how to do that too well. And I'm gonna go through setting up your Facebook business manager, ad account, Facebook page, creating your Facebook pixel, attaching it to your Shopify store, verifying your domain, and setting up your aggregated event measurements because it's really simple, really easy to do, but for some weird reason, everybody has a really hard time finding this information and I labeled it all out for you guys in one SOP. So I'm gonna take you through it. I'm gonna transfer you guys to another video and then I'm gonna show you the rest of the steps and transfer you to a second video where you can finish off the steps. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to really broaden your horizon on the Facebook ad side of things, branding, and you wanna make more sales in general, just hit me up and then we could get some one-on-one -on -one consultation. But I hope you guys enjoy the video, let's go. So this is my Facebook ads prep SOP. And if you don't have a business manager, an ad account, you don't have your pixel attached, this video is specifically for you. And that's literally the first step. We're gonna set up your business manager, your ad accounts, and your Facebook page so that we can attach the pixel from Facebook to your Shopify store. After that, we're gonna verify your domain names and Facebook aggregated event measurements right now by watching this video. I'm gonna take you guys through it. Yeah, also hit me with that subscribe button. Let's get into the first video. This is gonna teach you how to set everything up. It's called how to install Facebook Pixel on Shopify Fast in 2021 but it works in 2022 also. So just skip the intro. He has little tabs to go through to set it up quickly. And it's gonna teach you basically how to create your business page first. Then after your business page, you can create your Facebook ad account and your business manager. And then after that, you're gonna go install your Facebook pixel onto your Shopify store. He gives you step by step how to set it up. So if you're a little bit clueless, it'll sort everything out in one line. And then going forward, you're gonna verify your domain. This takes a little bit. So if you expect to run Facebook ads next week, start five days before, because it takes three days to get your aggregated event measurements set up. There's probably gonna be something that you didn't know about, like your ad copies aren't good enough, your creatives aren't good enough. So do all of this stuff at least five days before you plan to run your first ad on Facebook. But going forward, after you set up your domain, you're gonna wanna set up your aggregated event measurements. And you can skip this whole middle part, how to set up conversion events, unless your conversion events aren't set up correctly, but usually they are, and I don't even do this. So I go right to aggregate event measurements. Um, this counteracts iOS 14. That's the update that kind of blocked you from tracking data on Facebook because Apple and Facebook are kind of in a battle. So we want to be able to track as much customer data as possible. Now you're thinking, okay, I got my business manager set up, ad account, pixel, aggregated event measurements, I'm done. No, you're not. Let's go back to the drawing board. You still got to set up your Facebook ad columns and setting up your ad columns prior to running Facebook ads is going to be crucial for your business because if you don't have these set up, if you don't have the right columns, killing and scaling effectively is gonna become impossible for you and you're not gonna maximize your results. Do me a favor, subscribe to the channel and if you need help with your branding, building your website, running ads, thinking of new marketing ideas and how to grow your business, that's what I'm for. Contact me on Instagram, you could send me an email, the details are down in the description to find me. Let's go into this next video. I'm gonna show you. After you have everything else set up, you wanna set up your columns for Facebook ads. And this is the video, how to set up columns for Facebook ads, step-by-step -step tutorial. It's still relevant to today, even though it came out in 2021. You can skip through it, add in your columns and Facebook ads, and it tells you how to save it as a default preset so you know exactly what you need to run Facebook ads efficiently. Now you can run Facebook ads. If this video helped you, give me a like, subscribe to the channel and hit me up for one-on-one -on -one consultation if you want to grow your business and 10x your results way quicker than you could have imagined. Have a great day, guys. Peace.